God, that's how we do You know that you're feeling it too Hey everyone, it's been a little while since we uh, last posted a video mm -hmm. and uh, I know there's been a lot of anticipation and speculation about the nature of our project so we figured that we would uh, finally get some time to sit down and get this published to talk about our thought process that went into our decision to sell our RV10 project. So yes, the rumor is true. You probably got this figured out from Vans Air Force and some of the other postings that we've had. We have sold our RV10 project. So that doesn't mean we're getting out of aviation. You know, obviously this decision was very individualized to us and we felt that it might be beneficial for some of you current builders or even some of you would-be builders out there to understand a little bit more than, about what went into our thought process, even having already built a, an RV before in the past. So yeah. do you want to start with some of, sure. the, some yeah. of the thoughts that we had? Yeah, so obviously we're very much a fan of Vans and their products. <laughs> uh, we completed the 7 and we very much enjoyed the 7 uh, having that. And so we went into this for the RV10 um, wanting that for our whole family. Um, and in doing that, we thought the biggest hurdle would be the financial financials because we wanted to cash flow it. So we yeah. knew we'd always be saving up a big chunk of money and then buying a kit, so to speak, and then just keep that process going. Um, I think what became more of a challenge because the finance part was going just fine for us cash flowing that. Yeah. It was the time. It was. It was. You know, and we reflected reflected a lot on the time commitment that was needed to build, you know, a safe safe aircraft. We certainly mm -hmm. weren't weren't intending to build a, an Oshkosh show winner. Um, you know, we were comparing that against the realities of the time commitment it took for our RV7, and it's just a different spot in our lives right now. When we started yeah. out on this RV10 journey. We committed to each other that we we weren't going to build the plane at the sacrifice of family time, and as you know, our kids are getting older and older. We started to think about the realities of you know how much time do we actually yeah. have, and it was going to take us what, what was it another uh, optimistically another six six years and, based, and yeah. yeah based on the the hours we put in for two years with that in mind that we only did it during nap times and bedtime and that was you know nap times are going away they we don't have those right um and bedtime hours are also tricky because we have full-time jobs and a house to maintain and sometimes get tired <laughs> uh so i think that's what it was a harsh reality of our first rv7 project took four years but it was pretty much the only other thing we did other it, than work. It, yeah. And and that was fine. And now having two children, we've realized how little time we actually have. Mm -hmm. And then what are we gonna do with that time? So usually there's, there's projects or things to do um, for the kids and for the house. So it was starting to become this realization of, wow, this one's gonna take a long time to finish like at least six years more, more than the two. And that was not how we thought it would go. Like when we went into this, I thought naively, I thought with our time and our commitment that we would be able to finish this one in five years um, total. And so now we're talking eight at best. Yeah, absolutely. And that starts to erode in some of mm. the mission that we originally had in our intended use. We wanted to be able to fly places as a family and if you fast forward you know eight eight years total time mm -hmm. six more years uh probably probably in reality more eight as the kids take on more and more activities um it it really became a question of is this the right mission is this the right fit and you know is it worth the investment of time right now as the kids are growing up to then have an ultimate payoff I, and frankly i mean it it was it was mm -hmm. an interesting conversation. I mean, it wasn't a case of, 
you know, Christine being set one way or me being set one way. In fact, I think we fully explored the entire oh, yeah. spectrum of this. We thought about it a long time. We, we did. We did. And, you know, for me, it got to a point in time in the build where two, two key things, two key things. Uh, one, during nap times on the weekends, I didn't want to be remembered as, well, dad was always in the garage missing out missing out on fun stuff, mm -hmm. uh, you know, while one was napping, the other one's still up, and then soon they're gonna be, you know, both up. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, you just kinda know in anything you do, if it feels like a chore, if it feels like a job versus something that's really fun and exciting, it's probably a pretty good indication of it's time to reconsider that, what, that how, yeah how do you enjoy your free time yeah yeah because it was a grind it's a grind to it's another job basically to build it and they're a labor of love so we don't want to deter anyone from doing the project but i guess think about how much time you really can commit mm -hmm. um and then just set that expectation up front so i would say we may have we may not have started this investment of our time and money if we had went in with the with the notion of it being an eight plus year project right, we probably right. would have yeah so it was a hard thing to think about like oh you know we're gonna let go of that um but we're get we're doing that so like what rob said that we don't miss out on the little things yeah. i would say our children are are pretty um they're they're pretty great about wanting to be with us so one could say, well, why don't you just have them in the garage and hang out with you? We did do that. Um, but there's just only so much of that children want to do on a nice summer day. Right. So um, already, so this, I'm trying to think, when did this happen for us? Because it was uh, like September? It, no, it was back in July. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so July. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, it's been a little while. Sorry, <laughs> no video. Um, yeah, July. So already it doesn't even like, the time filled itself. It did. We, it did. It wasn't like we sat around and go, well, that was a bad decision. <laughs> and, and like, I'm bored. No. Not, I, not even a little bit. No. I think we filled the time and it's with all the little things that we were hoping to exactly. have, have back. And I feel like a little bit more rested. Yeah. And then that makes us more present for the kids and everything. So... So Rob was saying though, aviation is not out of our lives. No. So we, if you have watched our channel, then you've seen that there is now a J3 Cub. That's right. In the family. That's right. Yeah. Uh, fun, exciting. You know, 19, mm -hmm. 1945 J3 Cub. Uh, ironically built on the same day as our, our prior Cub that we, we had. We had another so, one, yeah. Uh, if you haven't flown a J3 Cub, you, you got to do it. It is definitely on a bucket list of aircraft that all pilots uh, should experience from a grassroots of aviation mm -hmm. perspective. They're, just, they're wonderful airplanes. Yeah, so it's not a family vehicle, and we're, yeah. we're okay with that. Like, it'll allow Rob to um, continue to keep hours. And he still will uh, have adventures and take, you know, as our child are comfortable in that type of aircraft, that's a different type of flying, um, then as they're comfortable, then he'll be able to take one of them, you know, on a little pancake flight that's or right. whatever. And they'll enjoy it. They and then it won't consume our entire weekend, so to speak. We're going to be, I guess... A little pedestrian in exactly. our travel exactly. choices now for a little bit. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. And then, you know, if you came to the channel with interest in construction, there is a high likelihood that next fall slash winter, mm -hmm. we're going to have construction related to the Cub in, in the garage. And I will, we'll, we'll do videos of those too. So, so it's, uh, it's, in, it's in good shape, the fabric. I mean, certainly airworthy, yeah. but I think that there's a great opportunity in a restoration project of it, recovering it, you know, bringing it back to some of his former glory and it's it's got a real neat history that we'll talk about we can yeah video. we can do a yeah. video on, on it's a very interesting history yeah, yeah. so so we'll um, share that yeah um and we'll share some of our travel experiences because um even outside of this personal aviation you know we're hoping to just travel in general absolutely and this channel for us is a time capsule for our family we're so thankful that other people find enjoyment out of it. So I hope that you would stick around and enjoy that, you know, we we attempt to be some level of entertainment. 
you know, if it's a break in your day, um, we're happy to keep that going. And we also, in this new house, are going to finish the basement. We are. We are. And I will probably do some filming of that progress if people are interested. Um, just things like that. So I just don't feel constrained to some typical YouTube channels that's branded to one thing. Yeah. This is just going to be a collection of of things in our life and and it's going to go a lot of different directions right absolutely yeah absolutely yeah well we're we're up on the 10 minute mark and for those of you stuck with us <laughs> clear to the end and that have been with us all along this journey again as christine said we just want to say thank you so thank much you. we hope you continue to hang out with us and mm -hmm. uh we'll st we'll still have plenty of content coming your way and, and thanks so much for being a part of the journey